Happy holidays to all. And it's time, as with tradition, for my review for Festive Surprise 2023. Been reviewing the past few Festive Surprise over the past several years in Grand Theft Auto Online. And I'm always interested in your pros, cons, and verdict regarding the latest installment of Festive Surprise in Grand Theft Auto Online below in the comment section. Technically, this is not being called Festive Surprise 2023, but since Rockstar has used that name for this holiday event for so many years now, we're just going to call it Festive Surprise 2023. Starting off with the pros, returning content from previous festive surprises, including the free quote unquote limited time festive clothing and masks that we get to wear for the next few weeks until Rockstar takes them away once again. The firework rocket launcher has returned for limited time. The snow, which is you know sometimes a, a pro and a con to people, depending on your point of view regarding the snow, it's nice to have, but yes, I feel like it sometimes overstays its welcome. But the snowball fights are always fun with friends and randos until one of them gets a little too salty and decides to pull out rockets and guns. Speaking of snowball fights, Rockstar has added death matches for snowball fighting in GTA Online. Not many, but there's a few of them. They were kind of fun to do, but the, the HP for them snowballs is lethal on the first hit. I don't think they should be like lethal on the first hit. I think maybe like the second or third hit, but like the snowballs are very OP in uh, the death matches. What's not OP, and we'll talk about this more in a minute, is the Snowball Launcher. It's quote unquote free, and you can get it between December 21st and 27th for the Snowball Launcher. The Snowman collectibles are also back, which features the Snowman outfit. So I think there's 25 Snowmen scattered throughout the map, just like last year. You destroy all 25 Snowmen, and then you unlock the Snowman outfit. The Weasel Plaza Die Hard themed shootout has returned, and if you complete it, you get the WM29 pistol. Beware of the Gooch also returns. This time around, if you kill the Gooch, you will get the Gooch outfit. Last year, it was just a cheap looking Gooch mask. I think you get the mask as well if you didn't get it last year, but along with that, you get a much more coveted prize in the Gooch outfit itself. Holiday gifts that have been included with this festive surprise include the green Christmas tree hat along with the white Christmas reindeer hat, the candy cane melee weapon for anyone that didn't get it last year. You can get those holiday gifts between December 21st and 27th. And then there's gonna be some New Year's gifts available for players who log in between December 28th and January 3rd, including New Year's hats as well as New Year's glasses. The Yeti Hunt is available for all players in GTA Online, and that's going on between now and January 3rd. You do the five clues, and you wait till nighttime to successfully fight and kill the Yeti, and you unlock the Yeti outfit. There's also a new Entourage Festive Remix mode featuring Santa and some elves protecting Santa from Krumpuses. This mode was kind of fun. I played it over the weekend with some friends. We, we went both ways. We played as the Krumpuses at first, and then we switched gears and played as Elves and Santa Claus. So it's, a, it's an okay mode, along with the Snowball Fight death matches. The Holiday Hauler has also been added to GTA Online as a dynamic. It's a big rig with a trailer on it, has some holiday theme to it, and it'll drop cash, ammo snacks, and on rare occasions, the Holiday Hauler will also drop two rare sweaters, the E-Cola as well as the Sprunk Happy Holiday sweaters. Speaking of the holiday hauler, let's uh, start off with that as the con. Yeah, it's awesome that we have the holiday hauler in the game and it does take its sweet time to go around the map, which gives you plenty of time to get behind it and collect the gifts and hopefully get one or eventually both of these rare holiday sweaters. But there are some problems with the holiday hauler. For one thing, you have to have at least two people in your lobby and it takes about 60 minutes for the holiday hauler to spawn. And some of the gifts 
will glitch. They'll spawn in midair and you can't even get them with a broomstick or climbing on top of a vehicle. And another issue that a lot of players are complaining about is they have yet to acquire even one of these two holiday sweaters, the E. Cola or the Sprunk Holiday Hauler sweater. Which is very unfortunate, especially for people that like to collect the rare clothing items. The, the two sweaters do look really cool. They light up at night. And I wish that it didn't take 60 minutes for the holiday haulers to spawn. I also don't think that the dynamics should require two people in a lobby. I know that's not a big deal because most people have at least one friend in GT Online that they can call upon to hang out in a lobby before one of the dynamics you know, pop up for them. And the holiday hauler, I think that could be reduced to maybe like 30 minutes instead of 60 minutes. And the uh, gift glitch issue definitely should be resolved for the next festive surprise, hopefully. So yeah, the holiday dynamics can sometimes be hit or miss. Players waiting for the gooch will have money out waiting patiently for the gooch to attack them, but they never get attacked by the gooch. Players also have been waiting patiently for the Weasel Plaza diehard shootout to occur. I have yet to see it pop up in my lobby, but I already have the WM29 pistol from last year's. It's possible that the uh, dynamic won't pop up for players that already have acquired the gooch outfit or the WM29 pistol. But it is unfortunate that there are definitely reports out there of players who are trying to get these various rewards for these festive surprise dynamics and have yet been able to do so. It would definitely be easier for players if you didn't have to have at least two people in a friend or invite lobby in order to unlock the holiday holler, gooch, weasel plaza, diehard shootout, etc. And then the snowball launcher. This is not really a big deal, but I thought I'd include it as a con anyways. It has probably the lowest HP when it comes to a firearm in the game. It doesn't even kill NPCs. No matter how many times you shoot the NPCs, they'll get knocked down. They'll get back up. I'm not expecting this thing to be as powerful as the uh, standard pistol you get when you start GT Online. But what's ridiculous is the snowballs that you can pick up and throw at other players or NPCs have a higher HP than the snowball launcher, which means that eventually the snowballs can kill other players as well as NPCs, but not the snowball launcher. Plus, it has a pretty long recharge rate between shots. The fire rate is very slow on the snowball launcher, and once again, the HP should be boosted up just a little bit. And my final con is one I've mentioned in previous festive surprises. I do appreciate that we get to wear these free festive clothing items and masks for a limited time throughout the festive surprise you know, holiday season. It just sucks that we can't buy them and keep certain festive outfits or masks year long, even if there was a ridiculous price tag to them, similar to the Arena War price tags. I'd be more than happy to you know, shell out a few bucks in order to keep some of these festive masks or outfits in my inventory year long. But it's nice to see them return for Festive Surprise 2023. There are the pros, cons, time now for my verdict. Despite dynamic issues, it is nice to see Rockstar continue to add on to the Festive Surprise content that they have been doing for over 10 years now. Bear in mind, it wasn't called Festive Surprise in 2013, but that's when it began with a, a snow day. We only had one snow day back then. And the festive masks, the festive clothing, was uh, featured for a few weeks for players to use for free. And little did we know back in 2013 that that was the beginning of what would become a decade-long festive surprise tradition in GTA Online. Happy holidays, everybody, and a happy new year to each and every one of you. Your thoughts, views, and opinions regarding festive surprise 2023. Welcome, as always, below in the comments section.